Hey, it's Andre, and it's not Friday night. That's right. Got home late last night. Had a long week with a work week. And just said, I'm not ready to do a Friday flying update. Too tired, too just worn out. And said, nope, nope. Hung out with the family and just chilled. So here we are, a Saturday night. Uh, and I'm all ready to go flying tomorrow. And for those who know the story behind this magnificent beast will know that this airplane came to me last year as a birthday gift. And no, I have not flown it. And I decided after all that waiting that it was more appropriate to wait until my birthday to fly it and uh, so that's the intention for tomorrow so the p40 is going to go up and i'm going to have a good time and it's going to get another check in the box for the uh september warbirds which is going to turn into september and october because i think i'm going to run out of time uh, i also have the mustang the p51 mustang from uh, hobby king and trailer fly ready to go Ta -da! so it's all bounded up and checked and everything i've flown that one before the biggest issue i always had with it was that horrible color scheme so eventually i think there's going to be a lot more yellow and just vibrant colors to it uh, i've been told the p40 likes speed i know the p51 likes speed so the only thing left on the warbirds will be to fit to uh, fly that corsair uh, s um, that just needs a little love to the um, the rudder found it was a little too loose so i'm going to put some uh, hinges in, into it and of course the fw190 which i've flown before with no issues so if i get those two airplanes done probably going to be next weekend at this rate so october 1st yeah sorry folks um but there you go i will have successfully flown all my warbirds so yeah my minus the micros but i'm not worried about those it's these guys so i'm excited about this um kit 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 so much stuff has come in this week it's been pretty good so the frame is here, uh, bits and pieces of the frame. That's the Alien 220 mil frame from Banggood. Uh, sorry, not the Alien, the Alien clone, the Martian 2. Boy, look at that, I'm on form tonight. So that is all ready to go, and I'm looking forward to flying that and putting it together. Basically, that will take all the bigger motors off a couple of my other kits and all the years, basically merged into one platform. I have been, where is it? Oh, it's buried behind everything here. I have been flying. From multi RC, <laughs> the little 150 mil shenanigans. I'm really, really coming to terms with this guy. I ran into the deck this afternoon, testing it out, just having a good time with it. Um, I was popping it up and doing unpowered uh, flips and rolls, and I was trying to do four in a row and <laughs> kind of got a little too uh, too aggressive with it and bounced it off the deck. And so I took it on a motor. Don't think I did any damage, and it seems pretty robust. Uh, but I think the uh, the prop kind of you know got chewed up a little bit. Otherwise, it's been fun. James was on the goggles and he was freaking out because it's just spinning around and having a good time with it. Still working with the PIDs and just getting it to a point where I can fly it line of sight and then pop over and do um, FPV with it and be comfortable. It is a ride in the air mode. It is just so agile and so much fun. So I'm slowly getting there and just every tweaking it. My biggest beef with my little setup is that I wired, as I mentioned before, the power from the um, system off the back, the 12 volt back into the uh, the board. So I think I'm getting false readings on my batteries. And so the alarm for low battery just chimes away and just drives me crazy. I'm flying along and I know I've got voltage, but it's screaming away. So enough of that i'll uh, get it all tweaked up but i'm having a lot of fun so mark job well done the guys mark and sean from uh from multi rc really well 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 thought out product so the 135 frame the uh wing zing will be up next uh for the build uh but right now i'm really just enjoying you know hammering this thing around i'm looking forward to getting it all dialed in so i can fly fpv and go around the trees and everything but I gotta go make sure I got enough clearance to it. Um, so probably won't bring this out to the field with me tomorrow because I just I want to make sure everything is good after that impact because it was a little bit of a knock, but I suspect everything is good. And I do have to go through. I haven't used some of the compound that Mark sent to make sure all the bolts are locked down. So after a good couple hammerings, uh, it's ready for some maintenance checks and everything. And like I said, I like to check that power setting. Uh, in for review stuff as well. Uh, Everybody knows how much of a fan I've become of this Firefly camera, so I decided I better try the, um, oh, that's warm, uh, that's the transmitter, that's my old fact chart. I better try 
the FPV rig and you know look at that hey how you doing um, so I gotta check it out but for from what I can tell I mean I don't know how I can hold this and distrem and, and and demonstrate it but uh, I can really you know there's almost no latency and hold on here we're now recording video what's really cool too is it draws the power from the 5 volt supply off the uh, FPV transmitter and uh, I'm uh, I'm pretty, I'm hoping you can see it on the camera, but the latency, I'm really not worried about that latency. So I'm thinking about slapping this on a few things and trying to fly FPV using this. And the nice thing is now I know I'm getting supplied power and everything. And, you know, that is pretty darn good as far as I'm concerned. Is, uh, I mean, we've seen some pretty serious latency issues with some other cameras. So let's just turn that off. So... There you go, that Firefly camera again, just rocking. I mean, it's become my primary aerial video camera uh, over the last little while. Uh, what else is in? Well, I'm still working with that antimatter charger and really enjoying that. Uh, I, I'm going to have to rave about the menus. You know, when you're ticking along and you go lipo and then click and you go past lipo and you're like, ah, oh, I got tick, 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 tick. This one actually has enough of a menu system in it that you can back up and you know you go through. And uh, I like the fact that I'm able to set it to um, a continuous alarm when I'm done charging. So it just keeps beeping until I come to it. And so it's not like the other guys that beep do 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 and they're done. Uh, this one you can actually program and tell it to keep chiming away until you're finished, which is superb so a couple of these standards are getting really nice some of these features so um, I'm still torture testing it I'm still using it and I think uh, uh, it's one of those products that I'm able to really do it um, if I burn off these packs coming up in the next couple of flights I really want to get there and put like four or five packs together and push that thing right to 10 amps and just see how smooth and sustained it is so again from uh, Banggood another nice product uh, that I'm able to review and uh marco thank you marco marco's uh said he'd like to uh send me some stuff actually he's working on this this is pretty cool so that's for the session i don't actually own one but he was showing me some of the stuff he's been printing so that's a nice little bumper setup for the cube session style uh um gopro cameras so that's pretty neat that's uh very uh spongy material so that should do well and he just sent along a couple uh escs that i'm going to set up and check there's a you know various ones so they're great for the wings and some of the other projects i'm almost tempted to you know grab three of those 1704 motors and do a little mini tricopter or something so they'll come in handy that or some kind of you know uh, scratch build micro fpv plane so gonna have some fun with that so thank you marco and then the big surprise this past week uh, my good buddy Mike, who I've known for a really long time, had contacted Ruben from Sweet Wings and uh, just mentioned that he wanted to get me something. And Ruben decided that uh, he'd like to kick in and uh, I now own a Finch. So that's right. I've got the Juggernaut, which I bought to build up, and we've got the Finch in the house now. So there I'm going to build a proper 4S powered FPV race wing. So... This is exciting. This will be fun. I'm going to really have a good time hammering these. So uh, probably next week, by the weekend, I know I've been saying this about the wing project, but work and all this other stuff in life has just been going crazy. So I'm really, really excited. Um, this is going to be awesome. So again, heartfelt thank you to Mike and Ruben. This is, uh, it was quite the surprise. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Mike also dropped off a couple 3D printed uh, center cores so I can get that wing, uh, my uh, arrow all back together because I really miss flying that plane after I cracked it up going for a goal post. So that'll come back on form. And tomorrow, if I have a chance or later on this evening, I'm going to finish off the big, beautiful blunt nose Versa wing. Uh, I'm filling around with one of the, uh, that's the... Uh, Oh, a T1000 flight controller and I've got an override module so I've done some trick programming with the radio and I'm just finishing it off and I was doing my testing and uh, if I can get this thing in the air tomorrow I'll have some fun with it I haven't flown FPV with the big wing in a while and it's just you know she's ready to go again after a little work um, like I said I suspected I was a little floppy so I put in some spars and everything so yeah whoo okay so 
There you go. It's not a Friday flying update. It's a later than Friday flying update, but there we go. So this weekend, if you're out flying or if you've been flying so far, I missed today because I was just doing a whole bunch of home maintenance stuff. But tomorrow I plan on being out in the field with all these lovely warbirds and potentially a wing and some FPV action. So if you're there, hope to see you. Have a great weekend. Try that again.